This is the ZX Armor piece, designed in 2012 for minifigures to carry ninja swords on their backs. But in today's video, I'm challenging myself to push this piece to its limit by finding creative new ways to use it to upgrade your minifigures to the max. Enough said, let's go. Now I've made two videos about this before, but I personally own only four separate ZX armor pieces. The problem is that they're all in silver. For this next trick, I need a golden ZX armor piece, so I went looking for one. So I was actually at school and I found the Golden Dragon from 2013, and I was able to track down the owners of the set, and I found the Golden Lloyd figure that comes with it. Can I borrow this? Yes. You know, actually holding this figure that came out 10 years ago is pretty cool. For those who don't know, this figure came from Season 2 of Ninjago when Lloyd became the Golden Ninja. I am the ultimate spinjitsu master! But enough messing around because we're really here for his Golden ZX armor piece. I'm going to make a quick Kai ZX custom which is his suit from Seasons 1-2 to two, and has a Golden armor piece. And I found that if you attach a stud in a clip, you can actually attach his signature weapon, the Sword of Fire, to Kai's armor piece. Which is pretty cool because that's how Kai carries it around in the show, and it's something Ninjago fans have been struggling with for a while. But what else can I do with the ZX armor piece? Well, besides carrying swords, how about a crossbow, which is really a bow and arrow that's more convenient and was used in medieval times. But did you know that Zayn actually used one for a brief period in Ninjago Season 13? So if you wanted to, you could use a stud with a hole and slot the crossbow handle into it to make your minifigures carry the crossbow around. But if that's not to your liking, you could even attach it with a clip at the main frame of the bow to make it more show accurate and practical. Speaking of which, you can also take Lloyd's Season 8 sword and clip it at the point of the blade nearest to the hilt using the same ZX armor technique. Okay, but this is actually really thick and, ex and it extends too far out. If I were a ninja, I wouldn't be able to be stealthy in this. So here's a more compact ZX armor trick. If you take a pair of Lego binoculars and attach it to the armor piece using a single stud, it kind of looks like a jetpack that the Mandalorians use. And you can even attach two fire pieces to make it look like it's flying. There has to be more we can do with this piece though, like maybe using it for some actual Lego builds. Well, I came up with this four-sided table thing that uses snot bricks to hold up jumper plates on each side. And if you attach a ZX armor piece on each side, it looks quite cool, like a pedestal or fancy base support. You could use it as a charging station for a robot or a display stand for something really valuable, maybe. Moving on, do you remember that scene from Ninjago Season 2 when the ninjas slot their elemental blades into keyholes to unlock the golden mech at the Temple of Light? Well, you could use a ZX armor piece to make that keyhole, and it even fits a dragon hilt. And now, for our final ZX armor trick. I figured that you could slot a piece of string through the hole in the back of the ZX armor piece. If you then inserted a ninja sword, it would hold the string pretty tightly. This would be good if you need to put some stoppers on your strings to hold it in place somewhere. Wait, let me turn on the lights. Yes, it works, and it's just something cool I thought of. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Head over to the community tab and leave a comment about any ZX armor tricks you might have. I've made two videos before about this so do check them out if you haven't. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.